Deputy Peg, this sightseeing tour is, um, uh, unexpected pleasure, but, uh, when are we getting to, uh, wherever we're going? Right around that bend, Governor. And on account of this Founder's Day surprise being so special and all, I'm gonna blindfold you to make it extra surprising. Governor Groundhog, happy Founder's Day! My, what a lovely log. Oh, sorry, Governor. Your surprise is this away. It's, it's magnificent. A monumental testament in stone to my beloved ancestors, Mariah and Jebediah Groundhog, who found it nice and friendly corners. And, and I don't look so bad myself. Well done, Deputy Pet. <laughs> oh, and of course you too, Clementine. <laughs> Would you like to pose with it and I'll take your picture? Grand idea, Deputy, grand idea. Deputy Peck stopped the train? That's right, Sheriff. Then he led the governor towards Rocky Ridge. Rocky Ridge? Why would he take him to those Badlands? I better go see what he's up to. I'll be back soon, folks, with Peck and the governor. Giddy up, Sparky. <laughs> Well, it is a bit windy up here. Not your hair, Governor, an itty bitty stone hair. But I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. Perfect! Hoppin' horsey toes! Rocky Ridge is crumbling out from under us! No need to panic. I know just what to do. Help! They tried to give the governor a very special present, but now they're trapped up on it, and that's not very pleasant. Sweet sassafras! Sheriff, we're up here! Pet? Governor? Uh, howdy, Sheriff! I suppose you want to know how, uh, well, you see. <laughs> Explain later, Peck. Right now, I gotta get you both off these rocks before someone gets hurt. <laughs> Whiskers! That wind's gusting something fierce. <laughs> the wind's too strong for my lasso. I'll have to find another way to get you down. I'm sorry, Sheriff. None of this would have happened if I hadn't tried to out-special the quilt. The quilt? <gasps> That's it? Hold tight, fellas. I'll be back faster than lightning across the prairie. Let's go, Sparky. 